So my countertop is a part of my kitchen that I did not like at all. I didn't like the look. And, you know, to change it would have cost over $7,000 to do, if not even like $10,000. And I didn't have that to part with. So imagine my joy when I came across this product. I'm going to leave it in the description box so you can see it. This product cost just over $200 and it gave me the marble finish for my countertop. So everything that you need to do is already on uh, in the instructions that came with the box. All the other things that you need to buy outside the items in the box are listed on the screen so that you know you can have all of your items ready before you start so we also got this scoring pad this scoring pad did not come with the box we got this separately and you will need it at the point in the process so first thing we did was to clean up our entire space i took out everything that was on the surface that could you know disturb or affect whatever work we need to do so you want to ensure that you have a clean space clean out your countertop uh cover things that need to be covered cover your uh, sink cover your stove you know you want to ensure that anything that could be a source of stain is removed afterwards i also cleaned with this vinegar spray you want to ensure that your space is clean thereafter we use the scoring pass that i showed you earlier we use that on the countertop so after cleaning so after cleaning you want to use that scoring pad so it's, i think it's like you doing you know you like, like using sandpaper on its surface so you want to use that on your entire surface before you start working so you do that and you ensure that your surface is clean so next thing we did was to tape off all the edges so that when we paint there is no stain to the walls or uh, backsplash so we actually did this uh, taping we did it like on, on two levels just to be safe you know and the countertop we covered it with like brown paper so we got the ground paper from Costco and so this um this covering this plastic covering we got that as well from costco so uh, i think there were some that came with it yeah some came with it but what came with it was not enough so we had to buy more from costco because um this floor space that it's supposed to go for uh is quite smaller to the size of our kitchen so we needed to get more from costco too uh, be sufficient we also got the paper tape actually the paper tape did not come with the product so we got that from costco so here i was just uh applying more tape so we had done one layer before so i did a second layer just to be you know very much safe because as you can see our cabinet color is white and also we had covered the kitchen uh, stove so we also have this coffee area that we are going to work on so the first process that we did was to just um uh, mix the paint not particularly mix the paints with any other thing you are just like turning it and then pouring it into um this plastic so that it's easy to apply from there onto the countertop so next thing we did was to start coating so we coated like with this brush as you can see my husband is doing here so we did about three coatings as you can see that the pattern on the countertop is you know very much mixed and colored so applying white paint on this surface means that you need to do more than once and or even twice before the entire thing you know goes out of view so we did a first coating we waited for some few minutes for them to dry up we did all of our surfaces then we went again to do the second layer and the third layer So while we were waiting for the painting to dry off, we used this gray painting to test our vein drawing skills. So you just have to take a brush. This brush came in the package. So to do a test run on a neat surface first before applying on the main coating. So when you draw on the coating, 
you would then dab with some you splash some bits of water to dab before using the brush on it as you can see me doing here so you you want to make it faint you don't want this vein to be too dark so what you do is after drawing your design you can de decide whatever type of design you want to do you can do the wide design there are different kinds of design you can do for your marble just to you know give it that uh, marble design that is very natural so after doing all of that you then have to go in with another white paint to dab the veins just to make it more faint and more natural so you are trying to blend it with the base exactly so this is what we're doing here So the next thing we want to do is to activate the epoxy you know the epoxy is what gives it that glossy finish so the first thing to do is to set a timer at 3 minutes 30 seconds because you're going to mix the epoxy solution and the resin you're going to mix them together for this duration before you pour them so we have the epoxy activator and the epoxy resin we're going to mix that together for that timer till the timer runs out before you stop and once the uh, timer runs out you want to ensure that there's nothing on your surface so that's why we're also cleaning it again before you pour the epoxy so when you pour the epoxy you're just going to use your brush to uh, spread it across uh, the entire space that you want to have it on <laughs> so don't mind our shenanigans here but guys what do you think knows how to dance better me or my husband i think i did better actually <laughs> but if you think i don't know how to dance then dance on you <laughs> don't mind me guys so anyway we used the epoxy on all the surfaces though we felt like uh we actually very much managed what we had because the uh epoxy we used was supposed to be for a smaller area anyway guys so you can see from this we have moved to that and you can see i also uh put in some lighting under the cabinet i didn't have that before so i got those online and i put that and right now this is our finished look what do you think guys me i am so much in love with this kitchen right now please leave me your comments and if you are yet to subscribe kindly subscribe to my channel like this video so youtube can recommend this video to more people and i'll see you next time guys bye